क्या बदला कुछ भी नहीं इन 40 सालों में कुछ बदला क्या एज फार एज आई टी जई और जई एडवांस इज कंसर्न एक्चुअली नथिंग हैज चेंज आज से लगभग 40 साल पहले ऑलमोस्ट 40 साल पहले आई टी जई का पेपर कैसा होता था 1985 में आई टी जई के फिजिक्स क्वेश्चन पेपर में पांच क्वेश्चन थे सिंगल करेक्ट टाइप एमसीक्यू चार क्वेश्चन थे वन और मोर देन वन करेक्ट टाइप एमसीक्यू पांच फिल इन दी ब्लैंक्स टाइप क्वेश्चन थे छह ट्रू फॉल्स टाइप क्वेश्चन थे और नौ सब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन थे सब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन कम उबेश वैसे ही थे जैसे आज के जेई एडवांस पेपर में आप पैसेज बेस्ड या कॉम्प्रीहेंशन टाइप क्वेश्चन देखते हो क्या बदला कुछ भी नहीं इन 40 सालों में कुछ बदला क्या एज फार एज आई टी जई और जई एडवांस इज कंसर्न एक्चुअली नथिंग हैज चेंज मैच दी कॉलम टाइप क्वेश्चन ठीक है इस साल नहीं पूछा गया इट वाज नॉट ए रूटीन फीचर बट हियर एंड देयर आप अगर 1985 से 1990 तक जाओगे तो किसी साल एक दो क्वेश्चन वैसे भी मिल जाएंगे आपको जो मैट्रिक्स मैच दी कॉलम टाइप क्वेश्चन थे जी हाँ तो ये सारे टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन जो आजकल आप जी एडवांस के पेपर में देखते हो ये सब पुराने हैं और आईआईटी वालों ने इस तरह के क्वेश्चन बहुत पहले के क्वेश्चन पेपर्स में भी दिए हैं आज मैं कुछ पुराने साल के पेपर्स यूं ही कहीं मिल गए देख रहा था तो मैं सोचा कि ये डेटा आपके साथ शेयर करूं हाँ इस क्वेश्चन पेपर को अटेम्प्ट करने के लिए पूरे तीन घंटे मिलते थे जी हाँ वो समय जरूर ज़्यादा था आ, पर आपको वर्किंग करके दिखानी पड़ती थी आ, सिर्फ आंसर निकाल के नहीं आप सारे एजम्पन्स और सारे इक्वेशन सब कुछ लिखने पड़ते थे और उनका सोल्यूशन भी करना पड़ता था इसी 1995 के क्वेश्चन पेपर से आ, दो क्वेश्चन आपके लिए लेकर आया हूँ एक थोड़ा सा मुश्किल वाला जो मैं करके दिखाऊंगा और एक बेहद आसान वाला जो आपके लिए होमवर्क रहेगा आ, ये एक क्वेश्चन है मैकेनिक्स का क्वेश्चन और इस क्वेश्चन में कहा जा रहा है दिस इज द डाइग्राम a string with one end fixed on a rigid wall this is a string and its one end is fixed to a rigid wall it it is passing over a fixed frictionless pulley at a distance of 2 meter from the wall uh this distance is 2 meter and this string is passing over this frictionless pulley it has a point mass of 2 kg attached to its to it at the distance of 1 meter from the wall from uh, almost almost kya at exactly at the center of this horizontal segment of the string there is a point mass yahan block ke jaisa dikh raha hai but it is a point mass capital m its mass is 2 kg a mass of 0.5 kg is attached to the at the other free end of the string uh, this free end of the string has a mass of 0.5 kg attached to it and the whole system is held at rest so that the string is horizontal between the wall and the pulley and vertical beyond the pulley this segment of the string is horizontal though uh, practically this is not possible can you see that uh, if there is a mass attached here then to balance the weight of this mass a string can never remain horizontal this string will definitely sag somewhat like this and then only weight of this object can get balanced uh, tension must have some vertical component isn't it to balance the weight of uh, this object so in practice this string will sag but the question says that assume that a string is almost horizontal which means uh, somebody uh, for example me i am pulling this block with a enormous force with a very high force tension is very high and if the tension is very high this string is almost horizontal but okay so from this position the system is released what will be speed with which mass capital m will hit the wall when mass after the mass m is released so the question says if i release this all of a sudden uh, with what speed this block is going to hit the wall so that is the question agar aapne aaj ke pehle kabhi try nahi kiya to karke dekhiye और ट्राई किया है पहले थोड़ा भूल रहे हैं फिर फिर भी ट्राई करके देखिए आंसर आना चाहिए ओके आ, आप ट्राई कीजिए मैं यहां क्वेश्चन का सलूशन कर रहा हूं क्वेश्चन का सलूशन बहुत मुश्किल नहीं है 
पर उस दौर में 1985 में ये डेफिनेटली बच्चों के लिए काफी मुश्किल रहा होगा उसकी वजह मैं आपको बताता हूं ये देखिए ये ओरिजिनल पोजीशन है टाइम जीरो पे जब आपने इसको छोड़ दिया ये पॉइंट मास है कैपिटल एम मास का ये स्मॉल एम है जब आपने सिस्टम को रिलीज कर दिया तो ऑब्वियसली ये मास एम जो है वो पॉइंट ओ के अबाउट एक मीटर रेडियस के सर्कुलर पाथ पे ऐसे चलेगा इट बिकॉज दिस डिस्टेंस इज वन मीटर दिस पॉइंट इज फिक्स सो इट हैज टू फॉल ऑन अ सर्कुलर आर्क ऑफ रेडियस वन मीटर देर इज नो अदर वे जस्ट बिफोर हिटिंग दी वॉल जस्ट बिफोर हिटिंग दी वॉल दिस मास विल बी मूविंग हॉरिजोंटली इट इज मूविंग जस्ट लाइक ए पेंडुलम इज एंट इट हैविंग स्ट्रिंग लेंथ हेल वन मीटर सो वेन दी स्ट्रिंग दिस सेगमेंट ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग बिकम्स वर्टिकल ऑब्वियसली the velocity of this particular mass is directed horizontally at this particular instant at this particular instant this segment of the string mind you this segment of the string will become like this isn't it so let me call this point as a and this point as b so this ab becomes like this is that possible no Uh, unless this string is a rubber band <laughs> or else this mass has to go up so obviously uh, this length was 1 meter now it is more than 1 meter so what has happened this mass has gone up so this mass is somewhere here it has ascended by some height let us say y and therefore uh, length of this segment of the string has increased actually length of the string from here to here is fixed right so in the present diagram this length this length is obviously root 5 meter because this is 1 meter and this is 2 meter so under root 2 square plus 1 square this red line has a length of root 5 meter right so earlier it was 1 meter and now it is root 5 meter so this mass must have gone up must have gone up by root 5 minus 1 meter because length of this whole segment of the string is fixed so if here the length has increased from 1 meter to root 5 meter here uh, the length of string must get shortened by the same amount so this block has risen up by uh, root 5 minus 1 meter at this instant velocity of this block is let us say u and uh, velocity of this block is obviously horizontal it is v v and u are not same and this is the most difficult aspect of this particular question particularly for students at that point in time 40 years back so there is a relationship between the velocity of this object and this object these days uh, you students are smart enough or rather your teachers are very smart and they teach you uh, shortcuts to relate the velocities and therefore you immediately know the relationship between v and u isn't it uh this angle let it be theta you all can see that uh sin of theta will be 1 by root 5 cos of theta will be 2 by root 5 and all that uh aap mein se mujhe lagta hai ki maximum log ye baat jante hain ki agar ye string ye string tension mein hai taut hai aur uske do end pe do objects aise agar connected hai इसकी वेलोसिटी अगर v है मेकिंग एन एंगल अल्फा विद दी लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग और इसकी वेलोसिटी लेट अस से u है मेकिंग एन एंगल बीटा विद दी लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग एंड आई गेस ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट v cos अल्फा इज इक्वल टू u cos बीटा बिकॉज v cos अल्फा कैन बी v cos अल्फा कैन बी अंडरस्टूड एज Uh, velocity component of this end along the length of the string which means if this length is l1 length of this segment of the string is l1 so actually v cos alpha velocity component in this direction is dl1 by dt it is rate of change of length l1 uh, length uh, distance of this point measured from this point right uh, this is l1 and the 
this distance of this particular point with respect to this point is increasing at a rate of v cos alpha and at the same time this u cos beta u cos beta is nothing but uh, velocity component of this particular end along the length of the string and this can be regarded as this can be regarded as the rate at which l2 is decreasing so this point is moving towards this point and its velocity component is u cos beta so actually dl2 by dt rate of change of l2 with respect to time is u cos beta so v cos alpha is u cos beta this is known to you all so if you know this this question is obviously very simple uh, at this point in time the velocity of this object is horizontal and this angle obviously is theta so component of velocity along the length of the string just before the object hits the wall velocity component along the length of the string is v cos theta and this v cos theta must be equal to u this u is totally along the length of the string so this u is nothing but the rate at which this thing is decreasing length of this segment of the string is decreasing and this v cos theta is nothing but rate at which this length red colored length is increasing so obviously uh, v cos theta is equal to u and in this diagram as i said cos theta is 2 upon root 5 so 2v by root 5 is equal to u so this is the most important equation that you need to figure out apart from this uh, what we can do is we can apply law of conservation of mechanical energy to solve this question so we just need to write one more equation and we will be able to get the answer law of conservation of mechanical energy as the system of these two objects moves the mechanical energy of the system remains conserved is not it so the gravitational potential energy must have decreased for the kinetic energy to have gone up right now we can see that kinetic energy that the system is having is half mu square plus half mv square ye kinetic energy kaha se aaya uh, system ki gravitational potential energy ghat gayi kitni ghat gayi bahut simple hai ye small m mass y distance upar chala gaya so loss in gravitational potential energy is mgy but at the same time but at the same time we have to observe that ye jo capital m mass hai 2 kg ye 1 meter niche bhi aa gaya to oh my god i have committed a mistake i am so sorry this gain in this gain in potential energy so sorry loss in potential energy comes from fall of this mass so this 2 kg mass has fallen by m uh, 1 meter so m into g into that 1 meter right so loss in gravitational potential energy of this mass is m into g into height that through which it has fallen that is 1 meter and for this mass actually there is a gain in potential energy so i will write minus mg root 5 minus 1 i hope you understand this on the right hand side of this equation i have written the total loss in gravitational potential energy of the system when this capital m mass falls through 1 meter there is a loss of potential energy that is mg into h h is 1 meter and on the other side the small m mass has actually gone up it has gained potential energy right so this is the loss and this is the gain so ghat gaya 25 bad gaya so, ka loss hua. so this is loss in gravitational potential energy and this must be equal to total gain in kinetic energy of the system which is equal to this much so the problem is solved now what you need to do is uh, in place of u you need to write this so, mass m is half kg in place of u you have to write this so this becomes 4v square by 5 and this is half capital m mass is 2 kg v square 2 kg let us take g to be 10 m is half g is 10 and this is root 5 minus 1 so this is, there is just one unknown in this question which is v and you can calculate the value of v from this equation so this solves the question so actually at that point in time uh, i think this is my perception i may be wrong but very few students 
would be aware of uh, this kind of tricks like v cos theta is equal to u. So, those who were able to actually solve the question in the exam hall would have derived them from scratch at that very moment itself. So, assuming that you do not know this trick, can you really derive that v cos theta will be equal to u? Can you give it a try? You must give it a try. Think why v cos theta is equal to u, how you will actually prove it to a junior student. <laughs> Think on that line. Okay, uh, and here is the easy question uh, which was asked in uh, IIT J 1985. Very easy question, in fact, based on Newton's law of motion. Uh, I will leave this question for you. I will just explain the question. It is an objective type question uh, having one or more than one correct answer. One or more than one correct answer. A spring balance A reads 2 kg with block of mass m suspended from it. When you suspend a block of mass small m from a spring balance, it reads 2 kg. A balance B reads 5 kg when a beaker with liquid is put on the pan. There is another balance shown here like this. Uh, there is a beaker with some liquid inside it. When you place the beaker with liquid on this balance, it reads 5 kg. Okay, So, this is the data given. The two balances are now arranged like this. The mass is hanging inside the liquid. Uh, in this situation, balance A will read more than 2 kg, balance B will read more than 5 kg, balance A will read less than 2 kg, B will read more than 5 kg or the balance A and B will read, read 2 kg and 5 kg respectively. Aapko isme se sahi option khud se pick karna hai. I am leaving this question for you. You can take this screenshot and try doing it on your own. So, thank you students, see you in the next video, keep sharing and keep liking the videos.